Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, midweek war attacks. We're back with uh, purple tanks for a change, and I'm going to jump into one of the toughest teams here right off the bat. This is a good fit for my yellow team. Um, it's not too frightening to have Teluria um, out on the wing like that, or on the flank. Um... Hmm, which one do I want to bring? So she resists mana stopping. Uh, there's no reason. Let's just bring Proteus. Okay. Need a little luck here with a. 800 team power difference. So, let's see what we can do. Okay. So, I don't quite have the matches that I need. Um. So if I do the suggested move, then I have one. Oh yeah, that's actually pretty good. If I do the suggested move, and then if I match uh, this blue match, the horizontal one next, it'll cascade the purples as well. Um, I guess that won't really drop the yellows where I need them to go though. Um, Cause I basically need these this yellow and the one to the right of it to end up over here. Uh, hmm. All right, well, let's... try this. So it's... Not great, even still, to have to use both of those jackals on Kenshin. Oh, I pushed my luck too much, and I lost. Shit. Oh my god. Wow, 875. Damn, I had him all the way down there. Alright, so we need two purple matches for regard. The Neath is actually a big threat, but we obviously have to get Kunshin out of the way as well. So let's try this. Okay, I think... Oof. This should kill him. Oh my god. Okay, that was a pretty lucky break. If we can keep our jackals alive. Damn. All right. The weaker one should finish her off. Um, probably good just to take care of Vela now. How many more turns are we dancing for? Three more. So we don't have to worry about... Gravemaker doing too much damage to us. Especially if we can heal first. Yikes. Alright, so that's not a move I meant to do. Touch the screen on accident. Alright, what I was going to say is if I pop this Dragon Bomb, that'll get me Proteus. And now it's just about trying to get some big combos. Um, I guess we'll go over here since he's a little bit more threatening. Especially with a squishy team. 
All right, can we get a purple in here? Okay, she's going off again. All right, I've got my move figured out, so let's do this. Let's take these purples while I have them, and then if I ghost those yellows, I can get rid of uh, Grave Maker, who's... Or should I get rid of Teluria? What? Oh, miscalculation. Okay, now we can do it. He's got no minions on him, so that'll be just a straight shot. And can we stop her in time? I think yes. Nope. Okay. Uh, forgive me if I seem a little bit lower energy today. I just had a surprise death in the family. Um, but I'm just trying to do some things that feel more normal. Okay. This should be a wrap. There's a couple Sartana tanks that I might try to go for. I don't know if I want to use another yellow team or not. Um, interesting. Where was the other one? Was this it? No. This one. Nope. Can't remember which one I was looking at now. This one. the one. Alright, I'm going to go here with a green team. So I just realized something recently about the Jinx talent, and I don't know why I didn't realize that ahead of time, but it ends up being 25% chance to deal 15% extra damage per each active buff. So if you have three active buffs, that's the potential, the potential excuse me, to do 45% more damage, which is huge. It's like a built-in attack buff. I didn't. I always just thought it was just fifteen percent if there were buffs flat across the board. Um, so that's pretty cool, and that makes Cobalt super strong. But a little short on emblems. <sighs> okay, so go with this team and. Do I have extra yellows that I want to use? Could be interesting to bring him actually, because just with two matches, it boosts my survivability by a lot. It won't do a whole lot for tile damage. It's also not the wisest choice because if he gets hit, his damage is, or his defense is low. So that is the potential to chain a lot of damage through me. Um, but it also has the potential to supercharge my hero specials. Hmm, I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, let's do these guys. Though, well, let me split them up here so that... Um, so that if I get hit by, what's his name? Uh, sorry, distracted if I get hit by Kagan, um, or Richard, then I'm not going to lose both my healers at the same time. So I do the blue troops that way because his attack stat is decently higher, so. All right. So this should make it pretty easy to take out Richard. 
And then it's just getting enough uh, specials charged to kill Sertana, followed by Albi. But Albi on the right like that is not as big of a threat because um, if he does fire and he does revive people, they don't fire within that same turn. So it gives you a little bit more time. Uh, if he goes off first on the left side, then they will get to fire because it's it counts as being in the same turn. Um, all right, let's do it. Okay, not the start we needed, but I potentially have some greens into Richard. All right, so we just need to set ourselves up with one additional green match here, and there it is. And yeah, we didn't even charge up Sartana, that's pretty incredible. Um, so I probably sound like a broken record here, but if you look at this board, does it look like a good green board? It's a terrible green board, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, two, four, six, seven green tiles, which is only one short of max damage, uh, making Frigg um, by far the strongest fast hit all hero in the game. Um, so we definitely want to make sure we take out Albi. So I might hit Albi. So I might do it like this. Let's go Frigg. It should be like 350 damage around there. Um, I don't think Kingston will do quite that much damage. So let's put, what's his name on her? Kill Alby before he's a problem. Simultaneously ghost some blues while uh, charging up Richard and jacking up his attack debuff. Okay, one, two more turns left on his attack down, so we'll do this first. Let's go defense down again. It's going to override the attack down, but I want to make sure we kill him before he fires. Go attack up. I don't think this is going to kill her, but... Okay, cool. So that's pretty straight ahead. All right. Uh, I think I'll stick with that for now and come and check in, see how the reset's going in a few minutes. Okay, so we're close to the next reset. I'm not going to push too hard, but I might take out... I might go for these. You can't see where I'm pointing, but... <laughs> this team and maybe this team. Um, they are sandbagging all of their flags. Which is always something that concerns me a little bit. Um, so I'm not going to use all of mine either. Um, a decent part of our alliance is in the UK, and it is after midnight there right now, so we're not going to see much activity out of them anyways, so I think we'll just leave a natural um, lull here, and uh, I'll just try to take out, I don't know, one or two of these teams, uh, the more challenging ones. So we're going to go here with a blue team because I really like attacking... Ursina with Finley. I think I might go with my old blue team and then maybe use a second blue team with Magni and Cobalt. Um, I kind of like this attack down from Vela and with all these multi-hitter heroes that could be um, advantageous for me. In terms of secondary color, I could go... Green. I already have one healer, so I could just throw a, oops, not you, 
Liana and an Almer. Just for a little extra killing power here. I like the look of that. It's a pretty potent and powerful team. No yellows, so let's do that. So, in most cases, I like to let Ursina fire uh, so that I can get, so I can use her buff against her. Um, excuse me. I don't have a lot of great options here. I really would love to see a um, blue diamond down there, but maybe let's give it a try. Okay. Well, that's pretty nice. Plenty of blues. So I only need to match three more blues. So I think I'm going to not use the diamond yet. So as I said before, let's get our scene in a fire. We'll then throw these other two out. I think let's lead with the healer actually. Alright, so what's her name? Marjana should be all good to go. Yep. And that buff is still there. So we'll finish it off. Okay, so that's kind of a partial. This is mostly a full team, but it's sort of a partial also. I was thinking of going for this team with um, my purple team. There's no healer here. Um, so shot is pretty annoying, but uh, I think we could handle this okay. Um, or do I want to save three flags? What are the emblems here? Pretty high. Um, recently I've been of the mind to save some flags for the end because we've lost a couple wars right at the very end. Um, just based on who had flags at that time from their team and from our team. So I like the idea of... Um, having a couple of our players save some flags for the end so that if we have some ground to make up, um, we can hopefully do so. And I think that's why a lot of these teams sandbag their flags is they wanna, they wanna see, they wanna let the war take shape before they decide how they need to approach it. And, you know, it's kind of like how over the years, how do uh, world records continue to increase? Because if you know what target you need to beat, it's easier to know, um, it's easier to approach it. You know, like if someone says, if you're ho holding your breath for as long as you can and someone says only 10 more seconds and you beat the world record, you probably have an easier time doing it with that motivation than you would. Um, it just kind of in isolation with it. So I think it's the same. When you know how many points you need at the end, you can choose your targets carefully. It kind of solidifies what your course of action needs to be. So I think I'm gonna save these three flags towards the end. We'll see kind of how this goes. Um, the only problem is that this board needs to be reset within so I'm looking for the lowest respawn time here. I think I saw four hours. Mm. All right, 6.53, 6.27. Anything lower than 6.20. Okay, so we have uh, six hours and 13 minutes before we need to reset. That's a pretty, yeah, that's a really tough team that's gonna come back. So we have to make sure uh, that we get this reset before the USA nighttime. So I'll uh, keep an eye on that and uh, we'll see what happens here. Okay, we're back going for the reset. There's three full teams left and I'm gonna try to take those teams. So let me see what I have left here. I have a purple team, 
a red team and a second blue team. All right, purple's good for any of them actually. Green is only best against, wait, did I say green? No, purple, red, and blue. Oh, that's what I meant, red. Um, so let's see what we're working with here. Uh, this is the one from the first half. This one's tough. Hmm. I'm gonna go. Should I go purple here? Hmm. Let's see what that would look like. Hmm. I'm thinking it might be better if I do this instead of. Oh, and I've already used my blues. Hmm. Let's see, I'm trying to think. How to counter Kunshin. This could be a situation to try to use Jean Francois. So perhaps I could go regard. Perhaps I could do this as a way to hopefully counter Kunshin. Hmm. That could work. All right, let's do it. Need three matches to get that counter going. Okay. So here's one. Here's two. <sighs> All right, I got three of them. So let's go one shit. This is unfortunately gonna combo the blues. Oh, we got it just in time. Oh my god. All right, a little defense up instead of defense down. We didn't even set off Neath. That was extremely fortunate. Now we got defense up. I have no way to take out Neath, which means I think I'll be able to charge both of them again after her mono reduction by popping the Dragon Bomb. So, what do we need here? All right, so I think I'm going to do this. All right, so we need a cleanse. All right. We're getting dangerously close to Kunchen going off again. Uh oh. <sighs> One 
turn to like God, Vela's like that's oh, cause she just healed again, that's right. Hmm, this is not looking good. Damn. <sighs> Shit. Oh man, I can't believe that. I had it and I lost it. Okay, so. I think instead of fleeing, I'm gonna try to press my luck here. Oh, that's the wrong guy. Wrong call. Oh. Well, I didn't need a zero. Shit. Gotta try to combo something more here. Damn, that was pathetic. If I match anything, it's gonna set Kunchin off. I think I need to do this and hope that I can. Yeah, I think that's the best I can do. He's going to have a huge heal, so... Damn. <sighs> Fuck. So I've got red, which is not good for Kingston, so let's go here with red. If I need Grizzle or not, I do not need Grizzle, so I think it's gotta be Tear. That's a better board already. Wow. Okay. All right, so this is the perfect protection before they're all starting to hit really hard. That might have taken her within Fire damage range. I brought the wrong regard though. Um, this side is the threat, so let's. Take these ones out first.
Oh, that's not going to do anything. Should be it. All right, twenty two, twenty seven. Wow, close, close match. All right, I've got one flag left, blue team. Let's see what I have actually. Looks like blue and purple, so I might go against Kunshin. I think I might go three purples and two blues, regard Hell and Bira, I think. Where do I want to go? To Burtis. No, because I already have costume Magni. Okay, so the biggest problem is Kunshin if I go for that team. And the fact that Neath is not. Um, she's immune to effects that stop mana generation. This is the smarter team to choose, but it means that someone else is going to have to take out this team. <sighs> Alright, well I've had a volunteer, so I guess I'll take out this team then. So we want to go Hell... Guard, Bira, Cobalt, Costume Magni. Mm, might as well give him a little defense. Okay, this should be pretty straightforward. Looks like we're firing Bira before it's a shot, which is what I was hoping for. So... I guess let's make it hurt a little more. <laughs> Alright, easy mode board. That was too easy. All right, so we got regard. Defense down from costume Magni. I really hope Cobalt finishes both of these two off. Okay, so that's attack up and defense down. Okay, well that was that was all the board. All right, how'd I do? 274. Not bad, five one-shots. That was a pretty frustrating hit on the other one, so let's see how our defense is done, and then call it a day. That's a one shot. I think I'm 51 points. And then one, two, three, so four flags for two hits, that's not bad. Um, 
All right, so thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any uploads. I'll see you guys in the next video.